Topics in this video include acquisition screen interface options, panorama patient positioning protocol, and panorama appliance options. To take a 2D panoramic image with our patient chart up within Easy Dent Eye, we're simply going to click on the acquisition tab on the top of the screen and select panorama from the panel to the left. It will then take us into the interface screen to select our options. First, we start with patient gender, man, woman, or child. Note, the system will automatically select child if the age of the patient is 12 or under. To the right of gender, we have exposure-based settings based on the patient's density size. Options are hard, standard, or soft. Moving to the right side of the screen under the normal panel options are the normal setting, providing a normal panoramic image, the magic pan, providing a single optimal panoramic image having multiple focal images combined. Moving on to image option below that are high resolution for best quality and the green setting for reduced radiation. Next, select an arch size option, narrow, normal, or wide. Moving down further to pano examination area, standard is your default, capturing all dentition and condyles. Additional options include right side only, left side only, and also front. Also notice the message information area on the bottom left of the screen, always displaying the status slash next steps. Once our selections are made, we can simply click confirm. The next step is to allow the machine to rotate to the acquire position, and then we can position our patient. In preparation, have the patient remove all metal objects from the neck up, including necklaces, eyeglasses, earrings, and any other metal objects. As our patient enters the machine, adjust the chin rest height by using the column up and column down buttons on the front of the panel. As the patient enters the machine, take care of the hands first, the feet second, and then the bite, in that order. Grasping the handrails with their palms facing up. Feet should be at shoulder width apart for stability. Ideally, we want the patient's spine as straight as possible and chest close to the device, so we'll have our patient take a step forward and notice the angle of the body. The goal is to have the spine as vertical as possible when biting on the bite stick to avoid spinal shadowing. First, with a clean final bite stick cover, have the patient Bite on the bite stick within the grooves, firmly in place. Next, we will line up the mid-sagittal light and focus on two points between the eyes and the filtrum so that the line is right through the center of the head. To adjust the position, move the patient's head left to right to adjust. Next, we line up the Frankfurt plane line with the patient's head. This is designed to run through two points of anatomy in the patient's face the tragus, and the bottom of the orbit. If the line is out of position, too high or too low, press the beam up and beam down buttons on the front of the device to adjust. And angle the head as necessary to conform to the beam. As a tip, the objective of this beam is to have the head tilted in the occlusion at a 10 degree angle when positioned in the machine which produces a slight smile effect in the pan. Lastly, we will look at the canine light. So the canine light should be positioned directly in the center of the canine so that it displays on the tooth itself. To adjust the canine beam, move the lever forward and back on the side of the machine to adjust. Have patient smile and press on the cheeks if necessary to visualize that laser line directly in the center of the canine tooth. Lastly, to ensure patient stability, turn the temple rod dial to secure the patient. Note, the Green X12 has a new horizontal laser beam to proactively identify and ensure clearance for the patient's shoulders. If the beam is projecting onto the patient's shoulders, the operator will need to make patient adjustments to allow clearance for the bottom of the rotator. Once complete, we can simply hit the ready return button on the front of the unit or the computer and the machine will rotate to acquire position. Have the patient close their lips around the bite stick, swallow, and keep their tongue flat against the roof of the mouth. To acquire an image, hold down your exposure button, which will be lit in green, indicating ready to take an image. 
and will turn yellow once exposing and hold. Once image acquisition is complete, turn temporal route adjustments counterclockwise and release the patient. The image is then saved directly to the patient's chart for review. Chin rests with normal bike stick. Special bite B or edentulous rest. Additionally, use a cotton roll to separate the bite. 